Good day, ladies and gents. All right, we're on our last route. We are almost done. Five weeks, but still, <laughs> last unit. All right, so what's happening is, let me just go ahead and give you the pacing of what's coming on. So for the next five weeks, five or six weeks here, um, this is what's going on. So here's the pacing. So this week, so um, Monday, uh, what we're going to do is to spend that day organizing. There's a lot of people who are still working on their booster. There's some people who are taking their test. And we also need to organize our hot topics and our study guide to get all those back. So um, we're just going to spend that day doing that. Okay, so now, uh, so Tuesday through Wednesday for the rest of this week, we're, there's a video um, that goes over Unit 1 and 3 which are these worksheets one, six, and seven. There's a video two that goes over unit two, which are worksheets two, three, four, and five. Now, why are these circled? That's because they are not top priority. So if you're gonna skip anything, then those would be the worksheets that you would skip. Um, I really highly suggest that you do all of them though. That would be my suggestion. So this is what's gonna be happening on that first week, which is what these worksheets are on. Okay. So now you're going to complete those worksheets and then I have built in Thursday, Friday, those days right there are just going to be quizzes. So you're, so now this is my basic schedule. You can do whatever you want during that week. Maybe you're doing a worksheet and then you're immediately taking a quiz. You do what works for you, but these are uh, the schedule times to do certain things. I'm here for you. And then we rinse and repeat for the following week. So your goal is to have, pages one through seven completely done this week. And then on week two, rinse and repeat. We have video three was on unit four in these worksheets. And then video four, which is on unit five, which are these worksheets. And then you have the quizzes. So your goal for week two is to have pages 18 all the way through 16 done and all those quizzes taken as well. Friday and Monday, there's no school. Okay, the following week, video five, which is on unit six, which are these pages. Remember the circled, um, the circled uh, worksheets are not as important, but you should definitely still do them. Then video six was on video uh, unit seven, which are these two worksheets. And then you have the quizzes. All right. And then week four, unit eight and nine video with these worksheets, and then unit 10, which are these worksheets. And then there's, um, now we actually have a full week for the first time, and that's uh, quizzes on the earliest Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And don't worry, you guys can be working on completing the worksheets during those days. You can be doing quizzes on Monday and Tuesday as well. You do what works for you. Just as long as you're getting all these worksheets done this week, then you're still on schedule. Okay, and then during week five, it's just a mock EOC. So some people are still going to be working on completing quizzes and stuff like that. But we're basically that week right there is um, just taking practice and the course exams. Just, um, just, just nice little practice on how to get that stuff done. And then week six, so Monday is a relaxing study day. We might play games. We might just sit there quietly memorizing your hot topics pages. Tuesday and Wednesday of May 10th and 11th, that's the scheduled day to, to be doing the end of course exam. So Tuesday is part one, Wednesday is part two, and then Thursday, Friday are makeup days if you miss those. All right, so now let's get a little more specific here. All right, if you're wondering about what those grades are um, of how I'm going to be grading this particular unit, all right, so unit 10 was 30% of your overall grade. 3% was the warm-ups, 9% was um, classwork, and 18% is your test. So that's the overall average. So 3% of your entire grade was just unit 10 warm-ups. All right, then 60% of your grade is going to be um, unit 11, which is this big thing that we've been working on, that we will be working on for the next five weeks. So 18% of your overall grade will be from the worksheets, which everyone should get 100% on. Um, quizzes will be 36% of your grade and participating in the mock EOCs uh, during week five, that right there will be 6% of your overall grade. So just participating and, um, and learning from that will be that. Okay, moving on. All right.
right, so what are we going to be doing each week? All right, so each week, there's basically four steps to this. All right, so um, step one is the worksheets. Now, how do we do the worksheets? First of all, take the notes from the video. So um, I'll be doing most of the worksheets for you just to get like a nice little refresher, get that out of the way. So um, that means, so after you take, after you watch the video and you take notes, complete the worksheet. So I'm not going to be doing it all. You just need to finish whatever I didn't finish. And then after you've completed the worksheets, you need to uh, submit your answers into the team's form. All right. Step two is uh, your worksheet chat. So you're going to chat about the worksheet with me. So if you got less than 100 percent, we need to make corrections. So and then once you make those corrections and you've talked to me about it, I sign off on it. So, for instance, here's worksheet one. You got your grade. Then I am then you meet with me and I sign off on it. OK. Now that quit. Now that's sorry, that warm uh, worksheet. Now that worksheet is now 100 percent. Now that we've had a chat and I, I agree that you understand how to do it. All right. So step three is the quiz. So you're going to take the quiz. You must have 100 percent on your worksheet. So either you earned 100 percent the first time or you corrected it with me. And now you have 100 percent of the worksheet. Now you're allowed to take the quiz and I'm going to have your quiz packets. So you're going to take the quiz and Holland um, <laughs> Holland has your quiz packet. So you're going to give me your worksheet packet. I'm going to hold it hostage while you take your quiz. So, and it's going to feel like you're taking a test. So you're going to use that packet, uh, that quiz packet. You're going to take your, um, you're going to take your quiz. Then after you finish the questions, then you are going to open up the form and, um, and submit it. So you're going to submit that into the team's form. Then you're going to return your packet to me and I'm going to look at what grade you got. So uh, I might look at that grade at that very second, or I might look at it the next uh, that that afternoon and talk to you about it the next day. All right. So you're going to return that and I will give you back your packet. OK, step number four is the quiz chat. So you're going to chat with me about it so you can earn half of those lost points. So, for instance, if you got a 60 percent on your quiz, you lost 40 percent. You can gain back. 20%. So you had a 60, you can turn that into an 80% after you talk to me and made those corrections with me. So it's just how, like how we do the test boosters. Okay. And you, so you only have one shot of doing this, doing the quiz. So make sure that you uh, take your time to actually study because the more you get correct the first time, the more points you'll have. And that's it. All right. So, um, and like moving down here. So we know that 30% of your grade is unit 10, which we just finished. Unit 11, that is 60%. And then unit 12, so after we take the end of course exam, we only have about a week or two left. Um, and that's and that's going to be 10% of your grade is uh, unit 12. So just giving you an idea of what we're doing. All right, so, um, so then we have our worksheet. You, uh, you finished the worksheet. You great. Uh, I sign off on it. You take your quiz. And then uh, once we have our chat, I sign off on that, too. And you have your booster grade. And so these are all the worksheets you're going to be doing. All right. So hopefully that helped you guys out of knowing what we're what the plan is. Other than that, have a great, wonderful day.